You call it a journey to the center of the internet. Where is the center of the internet? Well, there isn't, there isn't one single center, but there are certainly fewer centers than you would think. Uh, as I look at it, there are about a dozen buildings in the world that are an order of magnitude bigger than almost every other building. And these are the buildings where networks connect to each other, where physically the, the router of one network, this refrigerator-sized machine with yellow, yellow cables coming out of it and blinking lights, plugs into the router of another network. You said you, you were surprised at how small the Internet really was. I think a lot of people might be surprised to hear that. What do you mean by that? Well, certainly the Internet's this vast expanse. You, know, it's, you can get online almost everywhere. It sort of stretches all around the world. But it's surprisingly concentrated, and you can think of it almost the way that you think about flying across the world. You never would fly from New York to some you know, little airport in Germany and then onward to Australia. You would always fly through a big hub like Frankfurt or London. Mm -hmm. And the Internet's the same way. There are these, these, these centers, these hubs, that are far, far more important than almost anywhere else.